course. This is all to play for here for both these sides that made it this far. And now they're looking to go straight to the grand finals. And here we go. It will be excused. Excused. That is, yes, that is, the, that is the name we're calling them now. I heard Binfused bin said a little bit. Ooh, I, saw, wow. I heard that outside quite a lot, actually. Wow. So, yeah. Get ripped. Sorry. Get ripped, Texan Infused. Right then, here we go. Pistol round coming into B. CT side will be the start of the uh, excused side. Reason going to be taking T side. Utility base by on Crane Hood. Let me have also got the raid boss on Thomas, which is going to be. Well, I mean, I think this could be a decent strategy if they can set this up. Use that uh, Tech 9 for entry frag or just to generally support the frags that will come on through from the Reason side. And this could end up being super uh, crucial for them to try and make these lands work. But here comes Connor with that first frag on Takama. Smokes out. Bomb's going to get planted. Cray just immediately getting on towards the site. Going to set up that retake against the CTs. Well, the boost came in as well, and it didn't actually do the damage that they wanted it to do. Negated by those smokes. Have the pushes coming in now, and lots of members have excused. Flooding this bomb site in with a bomb planted in quite a, a difficult position. Cinder's going to have a lot of trouble trying to get back into this site, and he's going to go down very, very shortly. Excuse with a great pistol around there. Led the charge by by Connor picking up that initial kill, though. And one to zero, favor of excuse. A great start, of course, with the retake. And he was all just down to that first frag and he's been throwing on through for the retake. So worked out so well for them. I think so I got a bomb plant, so this next round will be the eco. A couple of P250s, but that's all that they're going to have here for the moment on Reason's side. M4s for Masters and a couple of UMPs as well for the CTs. Excuse, looking pretty decent right here. I really like that Reason isn't forcing this one up. I think that we've seen them go for pistols a, a, a lot in this tournament. I don't think that that's going to work against a mixed team like XL Infused. I'd like to see them do a little bit of damage here and try and maybe get onto the A site. Um, but just a throwaway round for them, unless Cray can do something really huge with not much health points and a UMP. But actually getting um, a lot of map control onto this site, and the bomb is actually going to wrap straight into B. So wow. excuse through through the loop as well. Have they actually got a man on that site? Yeah, it's, Echo's going to finish things off, but that could have been very dangerous there. A good thing they left that one man out towards the B site, otherwise that could have gotten pretty disastrous. Second bomb plant would have meant the extra utility and extra buy up coming in from Reason's side. But of course, bomb plant in the first round means that this will be the third round buy up. AKs, a couple of smokes here and there. Execution potential is available, but very, very limited utility for the T side here. They have still got the two M4s, of course, and the two UMPs still in play for the CT side. So, not the best of buy ups. The AKs do kind of win that out, but again, they've got that utility where they can suppress them, they can hold them back, and they can do some damage. They can read for a reason to disarray. I was sat behind XL Infused last night when they were playing their lower bracket final or the, or the lower bracket semi-final or the whichever match they were playing and they seemed like a very very calm team they weren't getting flustered and that shows that they've got like extremely tenured players they're working their way into this B site but the crossfire from the CTs is just too strong XL Infused really starting strong on the CT side Two kills into this round. Bobby Fizz drops. Cray will still take one back, but Sim has done a 7 HP. Windanski and Cohen know exactly where the bomb is. It's dropped in their part of the map as well, so they've got four full options right here. As the C side look to try and find anything they can. Backstab coming in from Hoodlum. The CTs are accounting for this. They've got one player hold out towards Graffiti, going to make his way in towards the uh, Heaven area, so. Got this one on lock. Now exactly what they're going to be doing. And Reason have kind of uh, in a stalemate at this point. They're Trying doing damage, they though. They are getting damage. Hoodlum, and Hoodlum does get the backstab into the effect. Takes himself a second kill as well. And Mendansky, 2v1 now as Luzza is the only man available for this bomb uh, site retake. Hoodlum doesn't expect the backstab up on his backstab. So now Cray is left a 3k clutch. This and part the bomb. Gets it down on site. And Luzza's got about 40 seconds to retake this one. Back in towards Walter. Making his way. Cray out towards Short. And Luz has no information on where this last man is up on top of the boost. Looking out for anything he can find playing Overwatch at this point. Gonna give away his footsteps, tapping away. And Cray is just holding face, waiting for that peak to come in. He knows all he needs is a good spray. And then Luzza will end up falling. Or he makes the headshot. And indeed, the head will land. It will be the first round on the board for a reason game. Yeah, Cray just putting that smoke down caused a lot of confusion there for Connor in the end. 
He didn't know whether he was actually trying to get cheeky playing in the smoke. Maybe he dropped down to water as well. And this is going to do a lot of damage to XLM Feud's money. They are going to buy it regardless with three, four rifles and a deagle on mech. <coughs> and with the AKs across the two side, making their way into B site once again. Three players there to defend it for. The excused side, the Sin is going to be playing that first phase. Smokes out, trying to keep them all at bay. Haven't got info on Bomb just yet. Karma has that on his back, and uh, they're currently watching out for any backside that could come in from Excuse right here. Thomas playing entry now. Molotov will push them right the hell back. So, once again, great use of utility, but Karma's going to take that first frag onto Sin. They're out towards short. Echo's going to peek on through and take down Thomas as well. So, actually, we're down to a three on fours. Hoodlum playing back. Karma looking for one with the Galil, and we'll take him down the action. Three versus three will ensue. Excuse are actually playing extremely perfectly with, the, with, with with these nades. You saw the Molotov there actually keeping Reason out of the B site and taking so much map control for XL Infuse allows them to not encounter a push in the first 30, 40 seconds of the round, which is definitely what not what they want. They want to um, prompt the push in the last 30 seconds, which is exactly what they've done because now time is of the essence for Team Reason who are running up long to this A site but they're going to be greeted by Luzza pretty soon who's playing quite a passive angle and they're going to have to bait him out of this position and with just one Molotov I think that they're probably going to Molotov him out here. I don't see a possibility where they don't Molotov truck and they are. This is going to really limit the number of angles that Luzza can play and he does go down. Gets picked off as the 2v2 now ensues. Retake incoming for the CT side. And look at this boost that will come in from Connor. Windanski, tent pole, Karma. It's just barely at the vision of Windanski at this point. No diffuse gets well for the CT. So when this retake comes in, it has to be so quick. And Karma already going to shut down the health on one. Taking down Windanski eventually. Now it's all on Connor. Aim punch going to hurt him, but still takes down the first. And there's Cray spraying on through for the second. Still, these rounds from Reason Gaming. Not looking too great here. They're only staying a level one player into the next round, and they're losing quite a lot of the investment they're putting in. Cray was a solid insurance policy there. Not one of these dodgy ones that you probably see on your emails, but he <laughs> <laughs> playing in bank. There was no way that Connor was going to check that angle unless he had any prior information, and that was perfect play from Cray, staying really calm in the clutch and deciding not to face early. Yeah, the whole round is going to mean that Reason Gaming are on a nice front foot here against the excused lineup. PT50s, Deagles, no Kevlar, no utility, of course, standard eco coming in here in corner. Well, actually, he might try to take that aggression straight into. Oh, that was close. Almost found the shot on Karma, but not in the case here. The bomb make his way up towards long as well. They've got so many angles they can cover off from, and they know exactly where to aim at this point. Thomas and uh, Hoodlum. Both conveniently shut down uh, Luzza. And Conwell's also going to get pushed on as well. So, in this case, the Seeds are basically offering the kills. Saying, you know what? Go on. Just do it. We haven't got a whole lot to work with in this round. So, we'll try to take a kill away from you. But in the case, you know, we understand that you're probably going to be the stronger members in this round here. Connor trying to do as much damage as he can. Get an AK out of hands. Lands at 1D onto Thomas. But best to grab that AK and get out. Yeah, not a very successful round overall from XL and Fuse. I think that they would have wanted a little more damage than that. I don't know if they'll be happy unless uh, Connor can get out, which he definitely isn't. Cinder is going to um, eviscerate him here due to the the armor, unless Connor can hit some sort of nice headshot on the fadeaway, but he's not going to do it. And Cinder going to make sure that he doesn't save a rifle into this sixth round. And The money for XL and Fuse isn't actually that good. They're not going to be um, that heavy on utility in this round which is going to be a big problem with, um, for them because as that reason push comes in it's usually very very coordinated and a really great way to break that up is with a single molotov with an HE grenade you can definitely fragment a team like reason by doing that however it's going to be a very quick push into B that molotov goes out early but Karma does take decent damage but on the entry, it does slow the other three members down, which allows the rotate for XL and Fuse. They've f found their way through all the way behind them. Have this push is coming in, supported by a kill, and now two from Thomas straight through the side. And Thomas is doing so much damage, a triple kill. 4v2 situation, Luzer and MCK. No choice but to back off at this point. 
Great entries from Thomas in this case, netting himself the only three kills of the T's in this round. Bombs down, planted, excused, realizes that, you know, they haven't really got a whole lot of options at this point. MCK and Luzzer backing themselves off. Luzzer goes taking a even dual challenge as they take down Cinder. Ooh, barely takes down Trey. Cinder's there for trade though. Gets traded back by Mick. So, Karma and Thomas are up against one man. And they will oh. take him out of the action with a very nice headshot. So, it's all she wrote for them. Oh. For cover. But again, you know, the, the damage being done here is just so much on the reason side. Yeah, what a round from Thomas as well. A quad kill then. And yeah, he put the pressure on the B site. But obviously, uh, taking the saving players out the server as well and reason just seem to be on another level right now excel infused have to step up their game if they want to match this level of play and i think it has to be players like windansky i want to see him um on the awp and i want to see him like playing towards connector and trying to take big map control however they just haven't had the economy to get that sort of setup rolling just yet oh, Connor. oh man he almost Connor trying to play with that cheeky 1D wall banger. <laughs> Jumped over the wall, got the information, but. Wouldn't be the first we found. saw this tournament. No, it wouldn't be, no indeed. But in this case, well, no early pick means no early chance for the CTs. They just get mowed over once in the game by the gaming side indeed if all five players do stay alive for a reason. It's something we haven't seen in a long time, you know, loads of players staying alive into the next round because for a reason that means that there is no reinvestment that will come in from their T side. Yeah, this spells real problems for uh, Team XL Infuse, and you see they've gone for the double up setup, so they definitely want to switch stuff up. And on Overpass, that's somewhat unconventional because it's so difficult to retake with those AWPs. Yeah, you can take really good real estate early on in the rounds, which is what XL Infuse are going to be doing here. However, when we get into the late round situations, I think that we'll see these orbs being neutralized. And with Reason pushing now into B, this is going to be a real problem for XL Infuse. Here they go. Actually, MCK and Eccles take themselves two kills, but Thomas turns up with one more. And look at the backstab coming in from Eccles. Karma and Cray. Not a damn clue indeed. Karma gets taken down. Cray going to go for the bomb pump. Try to save himself. We'll take one kill, but the <laughs> knife so almost came in. Connor guy ever got the USP shot. Stole it away from his teammate. And that will be a third round on the board for the excuse line. Yeah, a confident round from Team XL Infuse, but I feel like if they're going to go for those backstabs every single round they win, that's going to become predictable for Team Reason. I think that next time they're probably going to put a man back in water um, in kind of um, an, an unconventional position to catch that lurker out because that's something that XL Infuse are going for a lot. Quick rotations, wrapping round through water from the B site, um, trying to take that map control early on in the retake. Um, and they're stuck with this double AWP setup again, which is obviously what they're wanting, but a lot of um, Molotov damage there onto Eccles, who was trying to take some sort of map control and now has to fall back because he's so low. Seaside making their way into middle area. A connector, a connector halls. Not really a whole lot of uh, map control being gained by reason. They're slowly making their way into it. They're expecting an aggressive play, I think, from the CT side. They have won that first angel against the Eccles. But that's all they've won so far. No picks in the early minute of the round as we've actually approached that minute mark. Bomb making its way into bathrooms and MCK and Co. Just holding out and waiting. Luz has got so, is so well poised to shut this whole thing down, though. Take a look at him. Out towards APC. And on bank as well. Smokes will be out. Covering off that cross, make sure he can't really uh, find himself. Any of those. Early shots in towards the uh, long areas. Karma and Cray do peek on through. Luzza blinded off by Smoke. She gets caught off by Thomas as he's all the way up aggressive into the cross. Spots that one more ahead, takes it down, but there's the AWP coming down, taking a kill before he gets traded out. And yeah, not the best round for the excuse lineup. All Eccles, 1v3 situation to clutch it. We'll take the first. Cinder and Cray, it looks more than likely that they're going to be able to lock this one down. Yeah, this one's never going to happen, and I think the XL Infused are actually struggling to counter this regimented play coming in from Team Reason. You see they're so coordinated on those site entries, really countering off the AWP play of both Windansky um, and the player playing um, back in bank. I don't think that the XL Infused Orpers... Um, are, are playing playing their own game. I'd I'd like to see somebody actually poised on long to to take that initial shot instead of playing passive in bank. It's giving reason so much map control in a team that loves to just go for the setup. You're playing right into their hands, being passive. 
Oh, a false buy coming in from Excused here. This is questionable as well. Yeah. I don't know if I like um, MCK having a uh, having a pistol as well. If Luzza can pick up one or two on the entry here, but he gets flashed off of that angle. Reason playing their nades really well right now. An even trade, but it's really not working out for Team Excused. This time they cannot be excused unless some serious one touch to get landed by this Deagle. MCK does take them the first, but that's always going to fly now. The wing dancing just tries to have this retake. He's taken down several already, but it's a 2v1. He's got 15 HP and the bomb will get planted. So, well, got to be a retake and it's got to be a very damn good one in towards the site here. 15 HP. Loser the name jewel and that's it. Karma and Thomas take it. Thomas gets spoiled out. Windanski is there where you're gonna clutch this? Oh. No. Karma able to win out the last aim jewel just about at the time. And again, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> emphasize this a little bit more in this case because reason have themselves such good rounds, but when it comes down to the after plants and retakes, XL and fuse can just so easily bring in the damage. Again, it's down to that individual skill, isn't it? Playing retakes. Like every day now for years, and Windanski, he only had like 10 or so HP, but looked like he definitely had a shot in that one. He found his way past the T defense and straight on through. This is a pause. I think that it's definitely going to be a tactical from XL and Fuse. Perhaps a little bit late. I think that they've given reason a lot of momentum and a lot of footing. If we have a look at the scoreboard. Seven out of the last eight rounds won by Reason. They haven't gained a huge economy off the back of it because these eco rounds haven't been as successful as they maybe would have hoped. They had um, a really dominant one early on. But as of then, it's been quite close. Very scrimmy um, in terms of that. And XL Infused is a team who's always going to deal the damage on those lesser buy rounds. Seven to three of course reason gaming in the lead excellent refused well I mean I think this next round should be an eco round coming out from them maybe upgraded yeah. pistols maybe a bit of Kevlar and a half by but even that's going to be kind of difficult with them considering their money line but I mean you know it's a possibility I'm not suggesting they I don't, do I, it. I yeah, don't I definitely don't want to see them buy up anything at this point I, I think that even a couple of P250s is kind of kind of worthless but perhaps just buying up pistols to see if you can keep the t economy honest however in a position like this where you've got so little money if they just been reset actually yeah they've been reset pretty recently so they haven't even got that loss bonus to fall back on at this point indeed very very difficult stuff coming in for the ct side pause is cancelled or is it no, yeah, it is. Yes. Okay, there we are. sorry my, my, my sleep is still not getting to me. Obviously. Is it getting to you? It's getting to me. <laughs> if you had a long weekend. It's been a long weekend. It's been a fun long weekend, night. Though, it's, been hasn't a long it? night. it's been a fun weekend, of course, here at Epilogue. Well. Yeah, let's, let's not go there. <laughs> PZ50 is out for Excused. AK is out for Reason Gaming. I think we know where this round is going to be going. So, you know, it's kind of unfortunate for Excused. I feel like maybe if they save the tactical pause for the next round to try and talk it out, then when they have a buy up here. Then uh, it might kind of be a little bit more advantageous from a mental standpoint because if you're going to be taking that tactical pause, you lose them after that tactical pause. Then you know it is an eco, but yeah, even so, that 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 can be quite dangerous to your mental state. I don't know if that uh, mental factor actually plays in when you've got when you've got this being seven three down is um, a little better in in your head than being eight three down, even though you know that you're going to take that blow once more. Excel and Fuse not doing any damage again, and Cinder going to rinse them on the B site with the advantageous AK-47 ripping apart the pistols. And Excel and Fuse now need to get some points on the board. And you see their bunny, they haven't even got enough to go for a, a proper buy with full utility. So this is going to be a dodgy one as well for them. They, I would have liked to see a, a, a double eco at some sort of... Um, in the last three rounds, I think that right now it's a bit too late to go for it since they've taken such a blow in the in the rounds side of things. However, not having Molotovs for this B site is going to be a real problem. Oh my god, Connor lines them up and did the grenade damage on some serious work. And look at Connor absolutely running wild. MCK gets one in the exchange as well. Leaves Cinder alone in a one versus four. And Connor nets himself a 4k against Reason Gaming to shut down the whole push here. And it just kind of 
fell apart from the word go with mm. the utility and the grenades just doing some serious damage and then just peeking out and shutting everything down. That was kind of an uncharacteristic push from Reason. They didn't really use their nades very effectively at all. We've seen them go for that Wall of Smokes play on the B site multiple times in this tournament and already getting at it in this match. I'm surprised that they didn't go for it. Um, with one of those B rushes. It's so easy to put them in on the entry and it looks like they're going back towards B, not being deterred by Connor's quad kill there. AK's out. M4's standard and Hoodlums oh. exploit the aggression, taking down Luz. MCK does get the trade, so we're back to four on four, but even so, Luz are kind of get a little bit too aggressive for his own right, kind of got punished for it. And then he's going to be out, out towards that monster area. Echoes just shuts down two players so easily. Thomas Karma fell without any particular challenge coming in from the reason side. They even dropped the bomb as well towards the CT side of the map, so rotations will be cool. They will try to reset themselves into a decent standing. And we'll try, hopefully try and see if they can shut down Reason as they try to find their way back into the matchup because this round is going to be very difficult for them now that the, but the, the bomb's been dropped. Yeah, one thing that me and Snoz was talking about yesterday was the risk-reward factor of actually getting the the push in o o over towards party, especially on overpass, which is a map that, that you don't necessarily have to push to take that real estate. They got very far advanced and lost the player. That could have been very dodgy for them. However, the reason side um, is going to try and salvage this. Bomb back, look for the double as well, but no, Cray doesn't get it. Cinder snuck his way in from the A site, but I think that this is actually going to be red since... MTK knows that there's no presence there. Throwing a Molotov out and he's going to finish it off with the spray down. Easy round for XL Infused in the end. Gifted the bomb as well. I, I think the reason should... I, I don't even think it's a bad time for reason to take tactical balls. To try and get those last two rounds on the board. I think that they haven't shown us too much in the way of tactical aptitude in the last two or three rounds and I'd like to see them just like take a step back, take a deep breath and actually come up with a set strat because when they've been doing that they've been extremely successful. They've had their way with both of these sites, especially towards B. They've had a lot of success over there. And Reason going to work with their laurels and try to see if they can outflank and outmaneuver the CT side. The WP from Laza does tag up Hoodlum on 13 HP so a great start coming in. Excellent infused, but even so, same for reason. Gaming, lots of map control being gained and lots of options available to them. Even one player on the lurk site of B. We'll keep three players out towards B versus two on the A site, which is where the bomb seems like it's going to be committing to. Five to eight, failure of reason gaming so far. And here it is, five on five situation. Only the tag damage coming from Excellent infused. Onto Hoodlum is all they really have to work with here. A minute to go as well on the clock. It looks like Reason are going to set themselves up for this A here. Bombs out towards bathrooms. And there's Connor taking down Cinder at last. Molotov's out. We'll try Molotov away the cross. Stop MCK from pushing off this one to one side. Wendanski is going to be able to get a kill. It's a 4v2 situation. Cray comes through. Taking down a first onto Wendanski. Uh, Thomas can't be there. Support by Cray is going to go aggressive. And try to see if he can put the bomb down as well. Smokes out. CT's away. Backstab is incoming. But they read onto it so well. Plant for bank. Connor can't get his shots down. Can't line a bomb plot from his position. Another 2v2 retake will ensue. Yeah, and a, a lot of mistakes made that I want to touch on after this round, but Reason Gaming shutting it down. They were in a 4v2 situation, and now they're bringing it back. Connor trying to make his way onto this side. Does find one headshot. Knows where Thomas is playing from. Tries to nail the spray down, but it's going to be Thomas instead to find that round. And I was, I was saying that it was very... It was going to be very difficult for XL and Fuse to hold on to that A site. They allowed this uh, reason to set up right outside it again. And th this is where they play their best counter strike. I'd like to see XL and Fuse get a bit more aggressive into toilets and bring the fight forth. I think that they're better um, individually. However, this team regiment really isn't working out for them right now. And it comes back to something that you said in your brilliant article, actually, about XL being underdogs in, 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 as opposed to favorites here. Um, your words, not mine. Saying um, because they were a mix that they possibly weren't going to make it this far. However, like they, they did get a, a really good seed coming into this tournament, possibly deservedly so. But I think they were seeing a lot of their, like, I, I think they were seeing why they're struggling. Because they're, they're not taking a lot of map control. Right now, they, they, they're they doing a lot more with Luzza pushed uh, very far forward. But they've got no real presence advanced on A. 
And that's about it for the Excel's Infuse side. Reason Gaming, a 4 and 4, push ready for the A long area. Swung out the AWP when Dansky as well, just taps him down as well. Here comes Thomas, pushing on through, spots out MCK, connects the headshot eventually, finds the second shot. No, Karma takes down Luzzo though, so at least it's going to be the 2 for 1 trade. Going in the favour of Reason, a 3v2 bomb going to get planted. Eccles and Windanski. What can you do here for your excused side? Both players are going to try for a retake into the dumpster and into the uh, bank areas here. Lots of time on the map here. Got to move quick. Got to move fast-ish for the XL side. No defuse. Oh, sorry, there's a defuse kit on Eccles, but Windanski is going to be the one who's looks like he's going to try and bomb. Goes trying to the AWP. Who will take it down. Second face. Shots down Eccles as well. It will be 10 rounds. Double digits on the board for Reason Gaming on our first map of the lower consolidation final. I think that we're seeing a lot of the problems that X had against Radix last night. We cast that match as well um, against Reason here today. They aren't taking that map control and that initiative that I've been beating on at them about. They um, had overpass as well. And I, ca I can't quite remember. Did they win that? I don't, I don't, I don't think they did, did they? No, Overpass was the last map, and wasn't it? Oh no, no, Cash was the last map, and that was an absolute beatdown for this um, XL Infused side. It was like a 16 2 or something like that. But they're not taking this um, initiative early. I think that they're going to be a little stronger on their T side, but worrying signs here on Overpass. Here comes Piston Man, of course. It's excused in the uh, driver's seat with the Kevlar no utility on their side. No Diffuse get up for Reason Gaming, so. Very standard Kev level apps for both sides. They have to rely on their firepower. But MCK is the man that takes the first face. On Takama shuts him down. Craze still got headshots. Caps first face. Takes down one. Echo swings wide and takes him right back out. The action and backup is here. Thomas takes one. Oh. Headshots oh. go down for Thomas. Oh, Windanski. And he gets himself <laughs> the quad kill as well. Reason Gaming. A beautiful retake from the pistol player of the CT side. He just rinsed those players. Excel had so much sight control and they faced him one by one. And Thomas racking up four headshots in a couple of seconds. Beautiful stuff from him. And that's how to single-handedly take back a bomb sight. Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> that well was played, a big Thomas. One. That was a huge one. You can see his money line is going to be sitting great because of that M4 and full set of utility. Here in the second round of the half, the rest of Reason Gaming will buy up around it. There is a bomb pond that came in for excellent Fuse, so they'll be on Eco just tech mines BT 50s going for that rifle buy up in round 18. We can also hear the chat, and it went very, very quiet. Uncharacteristically <laughs> quiet, just said. I saw um, a very somber excuse last night, and I feel like they're going to be very um, similarly poised right now. Oh, that's going to suck. But either way, they've actually have taken down two rifles. Going to try to make their way in towards the A site, get themselves a bomb plant, maybe a retake extra situation against the Reason oh. Gaming side. But Fulham and Sin, they're coming through. Easy kills for them. No armor, no Kevlar on the players for the T side. Three men stay alive. Four Reason Gaming, 12 to 5 to their favor. And the rifles will come out for excused AKs. Quite a decent amount of utility, all things considered. They are going to go up against the XM also coming out from Thomas as well. Yeah, this isn't a great buy from Reason. Maybe not expecting the the buy from Excuse. They, they definitely should. So I, I think that they're just saving saving the money and trying to build their bank up. That was a very dodgy round for Reason though. I know that they survived with three players there, but Excuse actually managed to find their way onto the A site without much contest at all. They were able to gang up on single players. So I, I, I'm a little worried for Reason. If they didn't have this huge lead right now, I, I I would definitely be worried about that. And maybe on uh, future maps, that's something that we could see them playing a very loose style on the CT side and getting picked apart by the uh, individual prowess of Exile and Fuse. But already losing a man, Connor, in connector. Should have possibly been supported by a buddy system uh, from a teammate, I, I guess. Cinder early face with that P90 close range angles takes down Connor easy as five on four favor to the reason gaming side. And they've also got the AK out for that Thomas trying to use that. That XM. was the XM though, wasn't it? So that they've the been XM able to get that upgrade in. Honestly, I feel like that would have been the only we the weapon that would have been played only really in connected to try and shut down the push coming in from yeah. XM and Fuse, but it hasn't come in. So swapping out the AK would be just a more viable weapon. And now they'll make their way slowly on towards the site. Calm against MCK and Windanski gets him back. Hoodlum trades, Luzza trades, and down to a two on three situation. Now still got to deal with a couple more of the CTs. It calls 
Going to take down Thomas and the bomb will get planted. Here's a Cinder and Cray. It's got to be a retake coming off the Molotov. Landing out towards Default. They think it might be Default. So Echoes actually has a very decent angle against him here. Spots out Cinder. Cray delay takes oh. the first, but there's Cray. Easy one tap for him. Easy 13th round for a reason. If Echoes had hit that first bullet instead of hitting the 10th, he would have been able to recede his way into bank and just play time. He had the bomb planted for him as well. That could have been a beautiful scenario for um, the UK Rivaler. However, and uh, playing as their in-game leader for this tournament as well. He's um, sat in the middle with his jersey on, with his infused jersey on. And people are giving him a little bit of stick. But um, still holding in anyway. But possibly not holding into this map. Showing a lot of the same gaps in their game as we saw against Radix earlier. And you correctly predicted that Reason were probably going to take this matchup. However, back on pistols. But Excel have actually been quite dangerous with these pistols throughout this match and throughout this tournament. Yeah, wouldn't doubt the one digs corner. Maybe about to prove my point. Almost landed one to Karma, but Karma got down as standard. And Thomas comes around the side to take down Medansky as well. All three of the T players are held up in towards that middle area. So now the rifles and USPs will just try and mop them up. The Eagle does come in from MCK. Hook them tapping away. And he's trying to line up one single head. And indeed, he didn't yeah. find it. It's going to be 14 to 5 favor of recent gaming. Excellent views. Haven't had themselves a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of real fight here in this uh, in, in this half. It's been the first four rounds of Reason Gamer taken all four. Definitely a map to their favour here. I feel like it all came down to that CT side. Excel and Fuse seem quite weak actually. They obviously haven't practiced um, as a like as a as a mix too much. And when you're against um, a proper regimented team like Reason Gaming. They're going to pick that sort of style apart. And XL, they're not actually playing extremely scrimmy or anything like that. You see a, a, like a very um, a passive setup now um, from the Reason Gaming side. But yeah, back to what I was saying. XL um, does take the first kill, but moving into the A site, they've got a lot of map control that they can work around. They could definitely rotate to this B site, not knowing that there's not um, coverage in Vector. Karma, AWP, out towards... Side. Thomas has already fallen for reason gaming. Excellent fuse. Now wrapping their way with a man advantage on towards the B side. It's going to come down to the defense of the two players. Cray backs that in coming back. He's still going to line up the bomb. He takes it down corner. Gets a trade, but it's a two for one. Favor of the T side. Cray still going nuts. Takes himself a second. Hoodlum trying to try him on towards Loza, but Loza takes him right back out of the action. Cray down a 21 HP. Karma has got to rotate, and the bomb has been dropped. He's still going to take face. Looking for the third kill, and he will be able to find it. Flashbang trying to keep them at bay. Discoordination from the excellent fuse side, but this may have set Karma up. This could be the chance he needs just to shut down both players coming out towards short. It's uh. not going to happen. Luzza takes him out the action. It's all Cray now. A 1v2 situation, and both the T's know exactly where the last CT is. They'll make their way on towards the A side, get the bomb down, and set up a 2v1 retake to their favour. Yeah, this is never going to happen from Cray. Yeah, he's been firing all cylinders in this round, and he bought... Um, and Karma, so much time with that AWP to get in position, but it was a really poignant miss, a really bad miss as well. I think he should have definitely nailed that shot. However, he's going to walk into Connor's cross there. An easy round in the end, or an easy clutch for Connor and Excel and Fuse side. Um, and they're, they're gaining their bank slowly, but they lost a lot of players in that round as well. So unless Reason's going to be back to pistols, I don't see Excel and Fuse's chances at actually building this bank up and is Luzza going to pick up an AK-47 years? Um, the utility on the excuse side is pretty decent. I think that they will probably go for a set execute on this A site at this point. Oh, oh, that was a wall bang. Just, oh my god. Connor. That is, nah, nah. Calling hacks. <laughs> You're not having that, are I'm you? calling hacks right there. Cinder. Cinder's got to be feeling so bad about that as well. He's we're probably just like bashing his keyboard. Just like, no way. No way that just happened. At least it wasn't way. in a buy round, I guess. At least it wasn't a headshot. Uh, <laughs> either way, 11 HP. Down to Thomas to hold out the A site. Oh. Push lands a 1D onto Eccles. And now they'll back off into a 5v4. You may see the bomb. There is rotation coming in from Reason. So they may be uh, having some sort of information. Backs up actually incoming. They're trying to uh, widespread and get the flank on through. But Karma and Cinder... Just go falling and no HP for them here. Now Thomas Crane Hoodlum. Bad spots to set up this retake. It looks like they're going to head in towards the B site. Four versus three situation. Have got Hoodlum and they have got Thomas. But Thomas gets taken down immediately. Hoodlum, not much life left him in either. And Cray with a CZ in his hand. And a dream. Maybe take down Windanski out towards toilets. 
and call it a day on that front because I don't think there really is a chance for this retake with a CZ in the dream. No, I don't think he's even got a dream anymore of getting shut down by Winsanski. Excel infused. Yeah, they've actually. I, I, I'm not kind of on the same train as them right now. I, I think that they're still looking a little shaky. Um, especially up long, that push. Echo seemed very disjointed from the team. He was right up in front with nobody to trade. If you're going to do that against Rifles or even an AWP, if um, Karma's going to be playing that up uh, up towards long, which he has been um, doing periodically, then I think that that will pose quite a few problems. However, this looks like um, a set execute onto the B site. The bomb and everything else is here. And you see that they've got, they've got Wendansky posted back for for that rotation they know that reason is a team that will get aggressive when they know that they haven't won the the, the battle on the b site they'll take risks elsewhere and i think that this is something that they shouldn't be doing and xl infuse will actually catch out here here we are early minute going by and reason and xl infuse don't have any advantages other than small tag damage being done across the board from both sides here Excuse, looking to set up in towards the B site. It looks more than likely here. Bomb out towards that uh, that uh, thingy area. Water. Water. No, it's monster. Water. Monster. Monster. Took me a while to say <laughs> that. You'd have to excuse me. It is actually very early in the morning for us. You have to 45 excuse. Forty-five seconds. Oh, shut up. Or oh, forty-five seconds left available for the excuse lineup to make their way into the site here. Great. But such a good angle, but he doesn't land it. Thomas is the one that lands that first frag. Now it's up to Hoodlum to defend from Ramp. Takes the first. Looking for the second on Lazar, but he's going to get double peek from two players. 2v2 now. Karma making his way on site. Spots out. Karma takes him down. And MCK next up to the chopping block. Karma knows exactly where to aim. And indeed, he will get the defuse through. Reason Gaming, 15 to 7. They are on match point. And excuse this round. Well, I got money for this next round, but... The next buy-up needs to work, and they need to make every other buy-up work thereafter. It's actually really frustrating to see. Where was the communication there to show that um, Hoodlum was playing up in uh, up in barrels? And he, he had a, a, a clean shot on two different players, and that shut the push completely down. I don't know. Re um, ex excuse was seeming like a, a very calm team yesterday, but... Thomas, known for being a very quiet and passive player, um, well, not, not not too passive in game, but a very quiet player at least with his comms. I think they should have definitely been calling that one then and big, and, and, and big problems there. Great start from Lazar, takes down Cray, but Sinner's right there for the trade, takes him out, spots out, two more, but gets shut down, Hoodlum gets Eccles back to a three on three, takes another one, Connor and Wendanski, Bond gonna go now. And a man disadvantage for the two players to try and set up this retake against Reason Game and Karma was rotating. Probably going to hear a little bit of the information on where Wendansky is as well. Having a generally good idea of what is going on right here. Bomb goes down, opens up the squeaky door, and now makes his way in towards short. Wendansky spots him out, isn't able to take him down for first phase, second phase. Will land ahead, and now it's Connor and Wendansky. A chance still left as Wendansky takes another, and Connor peeks out wide to take Hoodlum out of the action. So there it is, 15 to 8, favour of Reason Gaming. Still map point, still got a little bit more fighting, excused. Wendansky, obviously the key player in that T-side hole just then. He got the first kill without taking much damage, and it allowed him to peek out again. It gave him so much freedom of movement. Excellent fuse. Uh, obviously still have a very long way to go. Reason Gaming, pardon me, back to ecoing. Uh, oh. However, <laughs> yeah, Molotovs like that really isn't going to... Pan out, going for that warbang again, but not connecting this time. Excused. That's still quite a, a, a long distance away from taking this one back. They are getting themselves on the right foot to do so here. Of course, quasi half by coming in from Reason Gaming, so we'll try for whatever they can at this point in time. Deagles, CZs, 5.7s, but. No match for the AKs, the, M uh, the UMPs, and the AWPs of the excused lineup. 3v5 situation, and you know, this is as expected. You know, you're not really expecting Reason Gaming to be able to find themselves any real frag, any real presence in this round. Maybe with some AKs away from the T side, but at a stretch. Now, 50 seconds will be on the clock, and they'll make their way in towards the A side. Then they get spotted out, taken down very, very easily. A 2v5 right now. The rest of the CTs will just get mopped up. It's excused, probably getting themselves that final round right here.
Yeah, probably going to be Thomas going down. I'd be surprised if he even does any damage, but no, he, he does take the first, but going to go down very shortly after that. Reason Gaming seem to... Um, it seems to be the calm before the storm. I think the Reason Gaming are probably going to take it in the next couple of rounds, but Excellent Fuse definitely in with a shot. These rounds have been actually far from convincing, I would say, for Excellent Fuse, d despite them being Ecos and... Um, and wins. We can see that they've won the last four out of five, but I've not been necessarily convinced by their T side, and I've definitely not been convinced by their CT side. I don't think that they had a lot of AWP presence, which is extremely important on Overpass. I'd like to see some more aggressive warping from um, perhaps from Wundanski um, over towards the long area, and obviously that lends yourself so much A control. Reason Gaming, also the same story on their side, not convincing rounds, just at the oh, yeah, of course, good god. MCK gets in there as well, and yeah, it's, it's a clean up, you know. What were you expecting? Full eco coming in from Reason Gaming, gets tapped away by Wendanski, does Hoodlum. Did some damage. Loza, Eccles, and Wendanski down a low amount of HP by the pistols, but no kills came in, so it's not going to do a whole lot for them in the grand scheme of things. It's not going to do a whole lot for them in the, uh, uh, in the overall matchup. Reason should have themselves a buy up here in the next one. And with that extra damage not being on the board, it means that potentially this could be yeah, a couple more rifle rounds for them to go. It will be the AWPs coming out, the M4s for the CT side, four smokes, two flashbangs, so seriously limited utility considering that XL and Fuse have themselves the, um, uh, 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 the rifle buyout with full sets of utility. So AKs out, AWPs, one tap potential fully across the board, even Reason Gaming don't even have some head armor because they know about what XL and Fuse really do have. So. Map control, back in with the T side, short, long, and a little bit in mid, a little bit in connector as well. So it's quite a lot for well going for this T side at the moment. Normally we say that we want uh, a team like Reason Gaming to be doing massive damage in those eco rounds. By massive damage, I mean two or three kills maybe. Um, at this point, it really doesn't matter because obviously they're on map point at this point. And having... Um, Having the economy for Excel is just a giving it given at this point. There's no like if we if we lose we're going to be forced to eco. We we can only buy for the next two rounds or anything like that. So Reason Gaming just need to go for the full saves. And I love the double eco from them as well. Um, needless to say, they haven't got a lot of utility right now. But being reset like they like they did. Sorry, um, here they had a, a a big trouble actually getting back onto the board financially. And Reason Gaming have been struggling ever since. Take note, they only need one round to take the advantage in this series right here. And it looks Ooh, like, oh, so almost close. down in a good shot. But MCK is the man that takes that first phase. Bomb Thomas takes it down. Karma gets one. Eccles trades him right back out to a four on three. Bomb gets planted. Cray making his way into positions. Backstab is not incoming. b site rotation is on for Cinder. And they've got to make this work. Reason just need a single round at this point. And they're trying to find anything they can at this point. Not a... Um, uh, not I don't think so. Right I think they're definitely going to be going for this save. I think that um, Cinder was trying to go for that one kill, and if they did get it, they'd have um, all pummeled into this B site, uh, into this A site. Sorry. However, since that didn't come in, XL Infuse didn't overface, which I definitely love to see. I think that we've seen a lot of problems this tournament with that. They decided they they had to fall off. XL Infuse know that they. Um, there's no disadvantage for hunting for these kills. They know where the AWPer is now, so I'd have liked to see them charge it a little more. However, not happening a reason. Going to save these three rifles. This is a big deal, actually. They're going to be able to buy up around this with uh, perhaps a Famous, and I'd, I definitely wouldn't like to see them go for a two-pistol setup as well. I would like to see one of the teammates drop. However, this is actually going to be a, a decent buy for Team Reason. And yeah, one more buy so left in the cards. Still two pistols to play with for reason. Deagle and 5-7 alongside the AWP 2 and 4. So not bad, but not great either. Up against the AKs and the AWP, and the difference is night and day. So what reason have at best is Karma and Thomas holding some very long range and close range angles. And the right side are coming up. Keep it together. Here comes Cray trying to hold down the defense of the XL, uh, XL Infused side. And they'll make their way quickly in towards that monster area. Oh, Great. That's a lot of damage, but not going to find the kill onto MCK. Now, Connor will peek on for us. All the way to the side. The monster go absolutely tits up. Thomas still takes that kill. Echoes trams through. MCK gets one. Karma back with a Deagle free. V3 right now. AK picked up for the reason gaming side. And MCK is down at 12 HP. Damage is being reined in 
on the T side of Reason Gaming. Gonna try and set themselves up to try and shut this thing down. Bond gets planted. Cinder gets one. Luzza and MCK last two alive. And indeed, it will be Reason mm. Gaming taking that final round off a balked by as well. Will win themselves map number one in our best of three series.